Today we're going over variables and order of operations. We want to be able to understand why is it important to uh, understand the order of operations. And the order of operations is PEMDAS, parentheses, including grouping symbols. Grouping symbols are parentheses, brackets, division bars, then we have exponents, we have multiplication and division, and multiplication and division are the same thing, we just, uh, because multiplying and dividing, dividing is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal, and we're going to do those from left to right, and we've got addition and subtraction what we're going to, that we're going to do from left to right. So our first step here, we're, we're going to try one of these, which is to evaluate this expression. So take a second and uh, evaluate this, and I'll do it as well. When we evaluate this, we're going to, or I like to underline my steps so that way when I go back through it I can see exactly what I did so I look at I've got two sets of grouping symbols I've got a, a bracket and we've got a parenthesis so we're going to work from the inside out so we're going to work inside our parentheses first so 12 divided by 3 and we're going to get 4 so I say negative 3 minus inside our bracket is 4 squared plus 8 times 3 and bracket. Now we have exponents inside our bracket, so we're going to say 4 squared, and that's negative 3 minus what is 4 squared? That's 16 plus 8 times 3. And now inside our bracket again is 8 times 3, which is 24. Negative 3 minus 16 plus 24. And now we can evaluate 16 plus 24, which is 40. So negative 3 minus 40. And negative 3 minus 40 is negative 43. Let's try another one. So you guys take a second and try to do this one. So the first thing we're going to do is square this 6. And 6 squared is 36, so this is 4 divided by 1 half times 5 minus 8 minus 36. And now we've got uh, division and multiplication, so we're going to work from left to right, and we know that 4 divided by 1 half is the same as 4 times 2, and 4 times 2 is 8. So we'll say 4 divided by 1 half is 8, times 5, minus 8, minus 36. Our, ne our next step is multiplication. So we're going to multiply 8 times 5 and get 40. We'll subtract 8, subtract 36. 40 minus 8 is 32. 32 minus 36 makes negative 4. Some definitions. The definition of a variable. Well, what is a variable? A variable is a letter that represents a number or a value. A variable expression or an algebraic expression is just an expression with a variable. What we were just doing was evaluating expressions, so expressions with a variable. So an example of that would be 5x minus 7 is an expression or a variable expression. An equation is just 
two expressions joined with an equal sign. So an equation is two expressions joined with an equal sign. An example of that, well, we can use our variable expression from above, 5x minus 7, and we could say that equals another expression, 3x plus 2, and so that makes an equation. Another example could be like 3x equals 5. That's an equation as well. Evaluating when, we're, when we have to substitute in a uh, a value for x. So here we're given an expression 5x squared plus 2 times the quantity x minus 8 plus 4 and then it says when x equals negative 2. So the way I do this is I rewrite my expression so I'm going to say 5 but instead of writing an x I write a parenthesis plus 2 times the quantity, and I'm going to have another x, so I write another parentheses, uh, minus 8 plus 4, and now I'm going to substitute in our value of x, which in this case is negative 2. So we substitute in a negative 2, and now we can evaluate this expression from here. So take a second and see if you guys can't do that. The first thing we do in our order of operations is we work within the parentheses and so I've got negative 2 minus 8 here and two negatives I add them together and keep the sign so that would be negative 10 so I've got 5 times negative 2 squared plus 2 times negative 10 plus 4 and now my next order of operations, I still have parentheses, but there's no operation going on inside the parentheses. So we're just going to, uh, we don't treat them any differently. So my next thing that I do would be to evaluate my exponent. So negative 2 squared. Don't get confused here. Negative 2 squared means negative 2 times negative 2. So negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. 5 times 4, 2 times negative 10, plus 4. Our next step would be to multiply. I've got two sets of multiplications. I've got 5 times 4, which makes 20. I can also do 2 times negative 10, which makes negative 20. And we add 4. 20 minus 20 makes 0. And 0 plus 4 is 4. So our answer is 4 here.